There is simply no aspect of your wellness that can retreat at the sign of sleep deprivation and get away unscathed. It's almost like a broken water pipe in your home. Sleep loss will leak down into every nook and cranny of your physiology. Even tampering with the very DNA nucleic alphabet that spells out your daily health narrative. And at this point, you may be thinking, <laughs> My goodness, okay, I, I get it. What can I do to start improving my sleep? What are your um, tips for better sleep? Well, beyond avoiding the damaging and harmful impact of alcohol and caffeine on your sleep at night, and if you're struggling with sleep at night, avoiding naps during the day, I have two additional pieces of advice. The first is regularity. Go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, no matter whether it's the weekday or the weekend. Regularity is king, and it will anchor your sleep and improve the quantity and the quality of that sleep. The second is keep it cool. Your body needs to drop its core temperature by about two to three degrees Fahrenheit to fall asleep and then to stay asleep. And it's the reason you will always find it easier to fall asleep in a room that's too cold than too hot because too cold is taking you in the right temperature direction for good sleep. So aim for a bedroom temperature of around 67 or 68 degrees. It sounds cold, but it seems to be optimal for the sleep of most people. And finally then, in sort of taking a step back, what's the mission critical statement here? Well, I think it would be this. Sleep, unfortunately, is not an optional lifestyle luxury Sleep is a non-negotiable biological necessity. It is your life support system, and it is Mother Nature's best effort yet at immortality. And the decimation of sleep throughout industrialized nations is having a catastrophic impact on our health, our wellness, our productivity, even the safety and the education of our children. It is a silent sleep loss epidemic, and it is fast becoming one of the greatest public health challenges that we face in the 21st century. I believe it is now time for us to reclaim our right to a full night of sleep. And without embarrassment, or that unfortunate stigma of laziness, and in doing so, we can be reunited with the most powerful elixir of life. The Swiss army knife of health, as it were. <laughs>